Hello everybody, welcome back to Battletech. I have a decision to make now. If I go to the contracts, I can either do a one skull uh, plot mission for not very much money, <laughs> or I can go all the way off to somewhere else to do this middle management mission. But this one's right here. Mm. Sod it. Let's do plot. Do this mission. Benefactor. Anna Maria Centrella, eh? Mr. Oliviera, thank you for honouring my request to meet. I am Anna Maria Centrella. You've heard of my family, I'm sure. Lady Centrella, this is a surprise. I wouldn't expect a member of the Canopian royal family to even know who we are, let alone approach us in such a non-traditional manner. This isn't a traditional contract, and I don't need Comstar asking questions. Besides, there's no reason to involve the Mercenary Review Board. I already know that I want to hire you. I have, have I piqued your interest, Commander Richards? My interest? Sure. But I need to hear the details before I'm willing to commit to anything. Of course, Commander Richards. I'd expect nothing less. The job that I have for you is relatively simple. I need you to recover something for me, and I need it done quietly. In exchange for your services, I will pay down the interest on your rather sizeable loans and buy you the breathing room you've been looking for. A fair deal, wouldn't you say? <sighs> Bloody hell yeah, I'd say so. How do you know about... You know what? It doesn't matter. Just tell us why, what we're supposed to be recovering. This. Hmm. Lady Centrella's image is replaced on the screen by a grainy photograph of an almost grounded dropship. Ramshackle structures cling to it, but like barnacles. She's a derelict vessel, an Argo. One of only two ever made. For over 200 years, she's been lying in state on Axilus, a pirate moon in the heart of the frontier. I want her, and I and you are going to bring her to me. Yeah, and how exactly are we supposed to do that? I mean, that's a big ship, and she looks half cannibalized for parts. Look, you can see her ribs in the photo. I'm as enthusiastic about money as the next guy, but I'm a mech tech, not an aerospace engineer. I'll be damned if I can get that thing flying again. Relax, Mr. Vertanen. I have engineering staff on hand to attend to the Argo. Their leader, Dr. Farah Murad, has built quite a reputation for herself in the frontier. You'll find a jump ship waiting for you at Alloway. It will carry you to the pirate moon, where you'll clear the path to the crash site. Dr. Murad and her team will go to work on the derelict, and you will protect them until the work is done. This should all be well within your capabilities, Commander Richards, unless I've come to the wrong company, of course. Oh, I've got to go for the background one. i fought against legends, Lady Centrella. Pirates don't worry me. Then I can see no reason why you shouldn't accept my offer. Do the job well enough, and there'll be more work waiting for you upon your return. Mr. Oliviera will re never find you a better opportunity than the one I'm offering, Commander Richards. I can promise you that. She isn't wrong, Dean. We were looking for a lifeline, and this is as close as we're gonna get. Okay. Okay, Lady Centrella, you've got yourself some mercenaries. Very good. I'll look forward to co your, your contact... I'll forward your contact to Mr. Oliviera. You know, Commander Richards, your exploits on Solaris 7 are remembered in the Magistracy. I wondered. I watched some of your fights myself. I saw your potential. Let's hope you live up to it. Okay, the contract for Lady Centrella's derelict recovery job is ready for review at the command center. We should follow up when you think we are ready. Okay, so I just got paid thirty-three thousand sea bills just to talk to her. Sweet. Not sure that was worth difficulty one, but okay. 
Okay, so let's look at the actual mi Ooh! Over a million C-bills. Nice. Travel to the Alloway Dock. An Alloway and dock with the jump ship you'll find... Uh, travel to Alloway and dock with, the, dock with the jump ship you'll find waiting there. I can't talk today. It will carry you to Ale Axilus, the pirate moon where the Argo crash landed centuries ago. Further details on the job will be provided upon your arrival. 18 days travel time. I haven't found any mention of Axilus on our star map, Commander. It appears to be a completely uncharted system. Makes me wonder how Lady Centrella knows where to find it. But it isn't my place to ask. Okay. Hmm. 18 days of travel time. That means the refit on the Shadowhawk will be done. Annoyingly, I'll still be two days shy of being ready. Hmm. Then again, with that kind of a reward, that'll pay for months worth of my uh, out financial outgoings. So I think it'll be worth me actually waiting the two days for me to actually get better. So yeah, yeah, let's do this one. Yes. Difficulty Final one. Command. Off we go. Because yeah, I'm out for about 20 days, it said, so... If I wait in orbit for two days before I go, that'll get me back in back in the fight. Oh, hello. Extension. Banging noises draw you to the shared mech warrior barracks where you find Behemoth disassembling one of the leopard's internal walls. There are already several panels neatly stacked beside her. She pauses, then explains. There's a few cubic meters of dead space back here. I'm making room so we can stretch without hitting the bunks. As reasonable as this sounds, the banks aren't going to like you modifying their property. Well, hopefully the banks aren't going to have a leg to stand on once this contract pays off on the uh, pays off all the loans. Uh, damn it. I can't take this option, which looks like it probably would have been the best of both worlds. Yeah. 20 grand. Not a hefty fine. I'll set aside that money. I think the increased morale that increasing the space will bring would probably be worth it. So, set aside the money. You look Behemoth in the eye. You know how the chain of command works. You have to clear changes like this before you start. She shrugs. Well, can I? You look over Behemoth's work. It's cleanly done with no hazards. Take a break until I make a decision. During a chat with Darius, you compare the cost of the fines to the benefit for the mech warriors and decide it's worth it. You lose 20,000, but you gain one morale. Woohoo! I'll take that. Morale is very, very nice to have. There we go. Wait, I thought we were going to an uncharted system. What are all those ships doing milling about the dropship? The jump ship, even, not dropship. Okay. I said it's a long way from the jump ship to where we're going. Okay, yep. That's the refit done. Good. Here we are. I've got the financial report. Okay, so here is our financial report. Yep. Bank loan interest payment is seventy grand a month. Ouch. That's expensive. So yeah, getting rid of that will definitely give me a lot of breathing room. Well, I'm still a million in the red, in the black, so I think this is good. Ooh, in fact, what I could do. 
I could spend a hundred grand a month. Bearing in mind I'm about to get rid of about 70 grand a month in the expenses to improve the morale of the mech quarries. That might not be a terrible idea. Yeah, I'm still good for another three months yet. And I'll be making money in the meantime. I'm about, I'm about to make over a million. So, yeah, let's, let's bump up the pay for my mech quarries, get them a little bit more morale. We've arrived at Alloway, Commander. P ready to proceed with our current contract? Not yet. I think I'm going to wait two days until I am nice and healthy. There we go. So that I can get in on this action. Okay, let's launch the contract. Commander, I'm setting course for Lady Centrella's jump ship. It's strange though. This moon it's taking to us to Alexis. Axialis. Axialis? Uh, doesn't appear on any maps. Which leads me to wonder where exactly are we going and how do they intend to get us there? Ah, so this was going to reach meet the jump ship to go to the uncharted moon. Okay. That was one hell of a rough ride. My stomach is still doing somersaults. That's because those crazy bastards used a pirate point to get us here. If we'd suffered a misjump, a sour summer would be the least of your concerns. The leopard could have gotten irreparably mangled. Hell, we could have been irreparably mangled. The cautionary holovids they showed us at the academy were the stuff of nightmares. Uh, okay. When exactly did you realise what Centrella's jump ship crew was planning on doing? As we were on our approach to dock with the jump ship, it was way out of position to use any legitimate jump point. Putting two and two together, I could guess at uh, what they were going to do. <laughs> Here's the million seabell question, Mayor. Why didn't you say anything about this before we jumped? Because it wouldn't have mattered if I had. We couldn't afford to turn this job down. Eh, turn down this job. Given the situation, I figured that ignorance was probably bliss. We'll talk about this later, Mayor. But for now, what's done is done. We're here and there's money to be made. Let's focus on the task at hand. The Argo's crash site is here, smack dab in the middle of a pirate stronghold. The ship, the stronghold and everything around it belong to a self-styled bandit queen called Grim Sybil. Her gang is the closest thing that Axilus has to a ruling council. Grim Sybil? Is that supposed to be scary? Sounds like the kind of name you choose out of a hat. What do their defences look like? They're patchy at best. I don't think that Axilus has, gets a lot of visitors. They have a strong anti-air cover, but little in the way of ground-based defences. I'm seeing a lot of vehicles, but battle mech activity looks light. Uh, define light battle mech activity. What are we talking about exactly? I can't put an exact number on it. All I have are surface scans to go on. From what data I do have, I'd expect the pirates to be able to field a full lance of light battle mechs, all of them in poor repair. There are mixed reports of something bigger. That'll be Grim Sybil's mech. I don't have any information on tonnage or armament, but given the shape that everything else is on Ix Axilus, I imagine it's being held together with chewing gum and bailing wire. <laughs> what else do we have on Grim Sybil? Before today, I've never heard of her. Yeah, I hadn't either. Centrella's intel says that Grim Sybil mostly stays put on Axilus. But she's got at least a dozen pirate gangs operating under her banner, so she must have something going for her. Sybil's bio is pretty sparse. There isn't a lot of meat there here. Just a note that she came up under Lady Paula Tre Treveline, the pirate queen of Tortuga Dominions. I guess that's impressive, uh, having a personal connection to Lady Death and all. Lady Death? Really? I swear, man, these pirate names are killing me. <laughs> what do you expect, Yang? They're pirates, not poets. Their only real job requirement is a willingness to kill for her money. Yeah, I guess that's true. Fair enough. Is there anything else of interest in that file, Darius? Don't leave us in suspense. Well, it looks like Treveline and Sybil had a falling out. Not that that... Mm, bleh, that's not terribly surprising, given the Pirate Queen's track record. Sybil managed to survive somehow, good on her, and she's been living on Axilus ever since. 
The rest of the report is just a rap sheet. Apparently our bandit queen has racked up an astonishing number of kills over the years, mostly against merchants and freighter crews, but kills all the same. She likes to get her hands dirty and she knows her way around a battle mech, and that's all I've got. So the pirates have vehicles and turrets, maybe a few battle mechs. Got it. Keep going. The entire structure is surrounded by radar guided, guided anti-aircraft guns. Your first task will be to take down the radar tower so that Sumir can approach the derelict. After you've secured the crash, dock, crash site, you'll dock with the Argo and drop off the engineering team. And then they'll miraculously get a 200 year old wreck flying again. Lady Centrella has bet a massive stack of sea bills that they will. For what it's worth, I believe that her chief engineer can pull this off. I've never heard of Dr. Farah Marud before Lady Centrella mentioned her, but I did some digging after our meeting. She was telling the truth, the doc has quite a reputation. Supposed to be some kind of frontier engineering wunderkind, and a genius at bringing dead ships back to life. Well, that's good enough for me. I'm glad to hear it, because it's gonna have to be. Now that we're here, we're kinda committed to seeing this job through. I'll leave you to it, Dean. Good hunting on the moon's surface. I'll be keeping an eye on you from up here. Okay, let's get rid of this locust, <laughs> and let's bring the brand new Shadowhawk, well, Bradley, brand new kitted Shadowhawk. Now then, who's my, I think, yeah, Glitch is my uh, indirect fire specialist. The Vindicator likes to sit still for the most part because of that PPC's range, so yeah, Behemoth can stay in that. Spider wants to be in that, so I shall take my Blackjack. Yeah, there we go. Off we go. This is a one and a half sculler. Okay, objectives. Destroy the radar towers and Britain to bring down Grim Sybil's anti-aircraft guns. Proceed to the Argo's crash site. Defend against Grim Sybil's pirates while Dr. Murad's team restores power to the derelict. It seems straightforward enough, but be careful, Dean. We don't know for sure what we're going to find on that moon, and we've had enough surprises already. Fair enough. Okay, let's get this mission on the road. Interface initiated. Welcome to Axelus, Commander. It's every bit as charming as you'd expect a pirate-occupied moon to be. You'll find Grim Sybil's radar stations just ahead. Defences appear to be limited to turrets and ground vehicles, for the time being at least. We know that Grim Sybil has at least one lance of battle mechs, so be ready for anything. Be careful of the pirate's turrets as you make your way into the base. They pack a nasty punch and they can also sensor lock your mechs. Aim for the turret generator, that'll be the fastest way to neutralise the threat. After the pirate's radar stations are down, you'll be clear to proceed to the Argo. Good hunting, Commander. Knock out the radar cover, crush any pirate resistance and secure us that derelict. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. So, where is this turret generator? There it is. Is that the only one? Looks to be. Okay. Well, let's start making a beeline for that turret generator. Ready for orders. If I can get my spider into view of it, and then I can just pound it with LRMs from my shadow so that'll be received. fun. Coordinates received. Ooh, Time enemy contact. No one else singing this. Wake up, you f idiots. We've got company. Well, so far it's just a turret. Battle mechs. We can't fight again. Any more objections? Good. Get out there and fight. Well, she seems about as pleasant as, you say, uh, as you'd expect a pirate queen to be. Okay.
So this is the one and only turret that I have activated at any rate. So I'll go ahead and reserve Decca for now. Building for tactical advantage. Just so that I can see. First up, glitch. Do you have indirect fire on the turret generator from here? No, you don't. Okay. Yes, Commander. That means I am going to have to move up a bit further with Decca. Is that a good range for his medium lasers? I think so. Got it. Let's go to there, see if I can get eyes on that generator yet. Oh, we found ourselves a vehicle. Hello. Unknown vehicle. More turrets. I think that dotted line there means that I have sight on it for purposes of indirect fire, but I don't have a shot on it. I think that's what that means. How much health has it got? 100. How much damage are, are my LRMs going to put out? That's 10, 20... 25 times 4 I think it is for an LRM that is exactly 100 but I can't rely on them all hitting so based on that I think I need to try and take out this turret Roger that. whilst I have a chance and one of my lasers missed of course it did waiting on you commander Alright, Glitch, you need to move so that there is absolutely no threat of anything hitting you. Can I... Actually, I can get a clean shot, not even indirect from there. For 85, if I went over here... I don't know how much of an indirect fire penalty it's going to be. I could just go down here with, and keep well out of the way. Uh, no, I don't want to be too far back. Just in case the penalties at uh, that range are humongous. Um, now let's go into this crater here. And then I'd be getting 55% odds. Hmm. 85% odds actually isn't terrible. It might be worth me trying to get that clean shot. And see if I get lucky and hit it all hit all my missiles on it. Yep, okay, let's go for this. Taking a slight risk with the vehicles, but I can easily back off, so. Uh, that's not too much heat, considering I'm in a vacuum, which is terrible for heat sinks. That's pretty good. Okay, so let's fire the missiles! Oh, that is a beautiful sight. Didn't quite take it down. Oh, only two missed. That is... That is brilliant. Good to go. Can I get a shot on that generator again? I can. From there, it looks like. Let's keep shooting that generator. If I can take these turrets out, then that will definitely be helpful. Yeah, I'll give it. I'll give it everything because these aren't brilliant hit chances, and I can't risk missing with three of these missiles and the reactor generator still being up so oh she finally hit with the ppc and three of the missiles perfect it down, Commander. well that's the turrets all gone so that's gonna make life a whole heap easier so let's move on up and take a shot at this uh Take a shot at this radar tower. Engaging target. There we go, that's 
solid 50 damage. Good, good, good. Good start. Okay, let's see what the vehicles do. Not a huge amount. Okay. Decker, I think I will reserve Decker. Give these vehicles a chance to close the gap a little bit. Oh, hello. Didn't see you there. Okay. Orders. I don't think I can actually get a line of sight on that vehicle, whatever it is. But if I go over here, I definitely can, so... Let's go over here and start playing with the vehicles. <laughs> it's what light makes are meant to do. Go vehicle hunting. See if you can take out a bulldog for me. No, you missed <laughs> with one of your shots. Even if he'd hit with both, he probably wouldn't have taken it out. Okay, uh, subtle strife. Where can I go that'll be of any use to me? Here seems like a good spot. What kind of shots have I got? Only ACs on him, only ACs on that, and only ACs on that, so. Let's take out the uh, thing that can actually shoot at me first, shall we? Ooh, structure exposed, but wasn't enough to kill. Okay. What's up, boss? Let's move up with the vindicator so that I can get a shot. Position confirmed. Okay, this will be a good spot for the vindicator. So from now on, I can just park her here and just laugh my way to the bank. That PPC's not got a very good chance to hit. And they're in 5. Potential damage output 20. Would that be enough to... Uh, wouldn't necessarily be enough to kill. So let's go with everything again. Ooh, yep. PPC wrecked him. <laughs> One for the scrappy. Good to go! And glitch, you just get yourself behind this mountain and start bombarding stuff with LRMs. <laughs> I worked out the damage output on this is a hundred if I hit with everything, so Let's go, go, go. 65% odds. Let's see how many I can hit. Quite a few from the looks of that. Okay, what are you doing? You're a striker. What are you doing, though? You're getting dangerously close to a mech, is what you're doing. Oh, you actually landed a missile on me. That was very mean. Only 32%. 32 health left on that. Well, first things first, let's just stomp this guy into the ground. Uh, don't think it makes much of a difference which side I go for. Let's just go for this side. And... Stomp. <laughs> you did. Reporting. One less vehicle. Okay, let's see what this other guy does. He's running around like a headless chicken. Let's see if I can get a line of sight onto this guy. Nope, I still can't. Okay, well, in that case, I will go over here. And I will finish off this radar tower with my ACs. There we go. That's one down. Receiving you. You want to just stay put. And 
try and take out that radar tower. Oh, you missed with the PPC. And Glitch is going to stay put here. And then fire all the LRMs at this one. Ooh, a few misses hit the mountain on the back there. How's it doing? 82%. 82 health, even. Not percent. Uh, however, this episode is getting rather long, so I'm going to have to split this mission up into two episodes. So I'll look forward to the second half next week. Hope you all enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and until next time, stay bad.